Today we're going to Yoyogi Koen, a place known for unique and independent bakeries and cafes. Yoyogi Koen is also a nice park, so if you like greens and nature, this is a nice place to take your coffee and sandwiches and enjoy the view. Camelback Coffee is my first stop and it's about a 10 minute walk from Yogi Cohen Station. This is a $4 cup of coffee of very good value. The flavor of the coffee has natural sweetness and it's not too bitter. It's very mild and you could taste the natural sweetness from the coffee. It also has a smooth and silky texture. The famous Camelback Egg Sandwich. They got the inspiration to make this sandwich from the sushi tamago, the egg sushi. The omelette egg has many layers, very soft, just like a sushi tamago, and they made it into a sandwich. Mm. Mm. The egg is super fluffy, very soft. It's, it's a sweet egg. It's like a mix between a sushi tamago and the and scrambled eggs. Mm. And this soft, multi-layer, fluffy egg goes very nice together with this crispy and mochi-like bread. The next coffee shop is Fuglin. They also have a unique flavored coffee. So this is the daytime menu. They have some espresso, cinnamon, frappe cold brew Americano and other cold drinks and iced desserts. They have some pastries inside and croissants. This is her regular black coffee. It's a flavor of sour and a little bit of fruity flavor. It's a light coffee too. It's not too thick. They have some pastries and croissants. They didn't have any sandwiches. So I just got the black coffee. But if you like pastries, it will go very nice together with this uh, nice fruity and mild bitter coffee. The third coffee shop is Rastro, a famous Japanese coffee house in Yoyogi Koen. It's a nice place to eat outside with some bench seats in front of the nice plants and trees, lots of shade. All oh, these mistresses feel good. They have different kinds of bagels from the sweet type bagels to sandwiches like this, the tuna sandwich, the egg sandwich, the egg bagel and the uh, tuna bagel. I got the tuna bagel. Comes with pickled uh, green peppers or red peppers, yellow peppers, and a pickle. It comes with a nice cake. And I got my black coffee with the sandwich set. This was all. This was all twelve dollars. About twelve dollars. Twelve hundred yen. Mmm. Oh, that's a nice. Nice flavor. They got the balance right with the sourness, the acidity of the coffee, the sweetness of the coffee, and the bitterness of the coffee. Everything is well balanced. So the store staff said, if you like more sour coffee, you go for the light coffee. If you like more bitter coffee, you choose the bitter. Uh, and if you like everything in between, in the middle, you choose the mild coffee. Mmm. I think the juices come 
from the pickles and the vegetables. And the pickled juices are mixed together with the tuna. So it makes it a juicy tuna. And there's lots of tuna in this bagel. And they toast the bagel. So it's very crunchy and crispy. It looks like they have nuts and berries inside the, the pound cake. Very nice looking cake. It's good size too. There's small nuts and berries inside. It has some cranberries. I taste a little bit of lemon. The nice icing makes it extra sweet. Japanese cakes tend to be less sweet. This one is more American sweet. 365 is a popular bakery and they have many kinds of breads from European types of breads and unique Japanese breads and pastries. A one minute walk from the 365 bakery is the 15 degree bakery. This is a sister store of the 365. So whatever bread you buy at the 365, you could eat it here at the 15 degree. The 15 degree also sells similar types of bread as the 365, but they also have other types of menu, sandwiches, cakes, and pastries. The store concept is different, spacious, and it's more like a cafe than a bakery. The store staff said that you could bring in the bread that you buy bought at 365 bakery and eat it at the 15 degrees bakery shop and they warmed up the bread for you in that toaster right there so it's nicely toasted and warm I'm gonna try from the, the cheese bread Buttery flavor, melted cheese, taste some corn inside. Very nice texture. Slightly crunchy on the outside. Very soft in the inside. There's incredible flavors of butter and, and sweet corn. And this one is softer than the other cheese bread. I love the mochi texture of this bread. It's very chewy. And the flavors of the butter is just so delicious. So I ordered the, the black coffee here at 15 degrees. I wanted to try the regular coffee here, the Americano. I like this matte color, stone-like coffee cup and saucer. Very nice texture, design, simple beautiful light grayish blue color the nice flavorful lightly burnt coffee bean it's almost like a cocoa powder the sourness is low bitterness is mild lots of sweetness it's not fruity but it's more like a cocoa chocolate sweetness they gave me this uh, peanuts cookie as a service with the coffee and they sell these at the store too so very nice mm. 
almost like a peanut butter cookie. This is pretty good. Shaved ice, ice cone with Japanese azuki and matcha green tea flavored ice cone. The colors with white and green. Look at the size of this. It is, it is humongous. This is the azuki beans, the sweet Japanese beans. I try the ice cream. Oh, just so soft. Mm. Just melts right away. So fluffy. Shaved ice. It's just like uh, eating cotton. Mm. The flavors of the matcha and green tea. So delicious. Mm. And the azuki red beans with the green tea flavors. It is a perfect combination, perfect match. Yes, it has some uh, condensed milk on it too. If you like coffee, sandwiches, pastries, and baked goods, you might want to check out Yoyogi Koen. You might find your next favorite new coffee.